Good day, folks. In today's video, we're going to take a look at one of the new features of the DJI Mini 2, and that is Quick Transfer. It's something new with the DJI Mini 2. Quick Transfer allows you to transfer all the content from the memory card on the drone directly to your smartphone or tablet without having to hook up the controller. On top of that, it will download at a nice fast speed of 20 megabits per second. It also has a feature called Trim Download, so if you have a large file, you don't want maybe the whole thing, just a segment of it, you can just download that specific part. For the most part, it works quite well, but there are a few quirks with it, and we'll get into that later on in the video. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So I really like this new feature just for the fact that I am a mobile creator. I very rarely use a computer to edit. In fact, I don't think I've edited on a computer in the last two and a half years. If we're out on a road trip and I've captured some content, I like to transfer it right away to my iPad so I can check it out and maybe do a quick edit. For the most part, when I'm transferring content to my iPad, I just use a card reader. This is the USB-C Apple card reader. It's nice and fast and it's convenient. You just pull the memory card out of the drone and then uh, plug it into your iPad. The problem is sometimes you don't have the luxury of having a card reader with you. And if you have to do it the traditional way, it's painstakingly slow. Plus, you have to make sure you have a charge in the drone and in your controller. You have to hook everything up like you're about to fly. And it's just really, really slow. I've almost burned through a whole drone battery just transferring a few files over. So this new setup is a very welcome addition. I hope actually all the drones in the future get this feature. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to connect the two together. So we're going to do a long press on the button on the back. You're going to hear a little bit of a noise and that back button is going to turn blue. And you can see right away on the phone, that little box has popped up asking us to connect to the drone. Now this is kind of the first problem that I've had with it. It doesn't always want to connect on the first time. And I don't know if it'll do it here or not. We'll soon find out. So we're going to hit connect. It'll ask us to join the network. Oh, so far so good. So now once it's connected, you can see it shows us how much battery power is left in the drone. And we're going to click on view album. And uh, it worked this time. Sometimes I have to do this step twice, but this time it's kind of gone in right away and done it. So that's good. So just like normal, we can go through and browse our media. We can play it, view pictures. And it's important to note that what we're viewing right now is still just the cached media. We're not actually viewing the high res version off the drone yet. So we can go into one of the files here. Let's go to that one there. We can play it. Or we can download. And this is where it asks us if we want to do a trim download or the full download. So let's do a full download first so we can check the speed. You can see there we're transferring at 22.29, 23 megabits. Kind of bounces around a bit, but it's pretty fast for compared to how it normally is. It may not be quite as fast as a memory card reader. I've never actually done a speed test, so I'm not 100% sure. But uh, at that speed, I'm more than happy. And in fact, I may not even need to use this as much. So that worked quite well. We now have that file transferred. Now I'm going to do another video here so I can show you how the trim download works. So let's do this one beside it. It's almost a five minute file. And this is where the trim download is really nice because you, we may not want that whole five minute file. You know, it'll take longer to download. It'll take up space on our phone. There might only be one little section that we want. So let's go to download again. And this time we're going to pick trim download. And you can see here we have a crop button. So we can play the video to a point we want and it's um let's just do there we press the button and you can see how it puts that yellow bar there and say we just want to that section there again we're going to press that button so now you can see it's highlighted in yellow there's that yellow rectangle around the section we're going to download and all we do is hit the download button here at the top at this point in assist we want to download it in 4k or in 720 so I'm going to leave it at 4K and we'll hit the download button. Now there is a little bit of a quirk with the trim download and basically you have to do it on the phone that you have recorded the video. And what I mean by that is that it needs that cached file in order for it to work. I tried to do this on my iPad and um, it tells me I can't do it because there's no cached files. So a trim download only works on the device that you captured the content and it has that cached file. So yeah, folks, just a quick look at the new quick transfer feature of the DJI Mini 2. I actually think it's a pretty handy feature and I know I will be making use of it with the Mini 2. And I do hope DJI continues to use it in some of its future drones. Anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. 
and we'll see you in the next one.